Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Prism Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we made our way through the Milos Catacombs, I believe it was called, and we got wound up by a police officer who wants us to disguise ourselves as a Palette Patroller and go undercover and bring one of them into custody. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and find ourselves this Palette Patroller that we've got to find so we can go back in that cave and find something and explore the rest of the cave that I didn't get to explore. What is this cave? Excuse me, this is Palatia Town still, it says. What's over here? This is Route 78. Where does this connect? This is weird. Um, I'm not ready to do this right now. I need to find that bullet patroller. I want out of this costume. Why are they making me do this? This is such a strange little thing to do here. Oh, uh, what is this place? The move deleter. Oh, that's pretty good to know about. Oh, we can get rid of cut. I'll probably need it. I'll just hang on to cut for now. Oh, uh, what is this girl? I collect Pokemon. Do you have a soul rock? Want to trade for my Lunatone? I wish. I don't have a soul rock, but I would have loved to have gotten one. Oh, well, we didn't. All right, what's in here? Another cave, it seems, that connects to Route 85. Oh, man, this music. Do 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 This music is so good and it's over now. Alright, we need to go find this guy. Quit dilly dallying, but I got I guess we can check out the areas in this place. What's this guy say? Andre Andre's tough, right? This move will help your Pokemon endure even his toughest moves. We get TM20. What is TM20 in this game? I guess we'll have to look in our pack to find out, because this guy doesn't want to tell me. TM20 is Endure. Okay, that makes sense. I don't want it, but I have no idea who Andre is supposed to be. According to the union rules, I am entitled to a 15-minute break. Well, you enjoy that break there, buddy. I'm sure it won't be 15 minutes if you're anything like me. I procrastinate quite a bit. Um, here's the Mart. Let's go check out the Mart. Is there anything cool to buy here? Mining pick, Ultra Ball, Great Ball. Um... We got a lot of money now. I'm going to buy like six mining picks. Now, yeah, let's go mining. Excuse me. Do I not have any space, did it say? Well, that's lame. I'm going to do some inventory management. Give me a second. Okay, I bought six mining picks and sold some stuff. So, by mining this, we can go ahead and get some coal. Let's try mining this. A heart scale. We've got a couple of those, but they might come in handy later on. What about here? Unable to extract anything. Unable to extract. Um, a hard scale. Alright, same stuff. I want to go in a cave and do it. Let's do it in the cave. And our mining grew to level 3, which is pretty cool. I don't know what that does for us, but who knows. Maybe it'll do something useful. Here's an Aspir Berry. Might come in handy later on if there's like an Ice-type gym or something. Who knows? It's possible. And let's let's mine. Well, can we mine this? No, we need Rock Smash for that. Um, what's that other guy blocking? I thought that was the cave we already talked to the guy we already talked to, but I guess not. This one, security's been tightened up for the moment. Wait, your Palette Patroller, we're keeping our eyes on? Yeah, this is the same thing as the other guy. I'm gonna go in that cave then. I guess we've gotta go somewhere. We don't have strength yet, so we can't do this. Yeah, I guess we have to go this way, maybe. Or to the left. But let's go this way in mine right here. Gold Dust. I still have no idea what the Gold Dust does. But it's there and we're out of mining picks now. So let's go ahead and check out what the gold dust says. I think I got one of those Um, it sells low. Okay, that's pointless then Um, let's keep going once again. So like the last episode. I'm sorry to hear my dog snoring. He's rotten He does it. He's sleepy. I probably shouldn't record at night. Oh, excuse me <laughs> That sucks. I didn't know those guys could snipe me like that. I was gonna get a Pokemon and that's so cool, our sprite changes and everything. Cool. All right, he has a Seeking. And I guess um, Nitro's up for, whoa, level 36. I'm not ready for these guys. What a <gasps> Horn Drill. Okay, it didn't use Horn Drill, but this could still kill me, honestly. Wow, that did so much damage. Paralyze it, do something, because this is not gonna go well. Not quite. Yeah, we outsped that time. Oh man, I'm not ready for these trainers. I might have to train or something. Holy crap. All right, Nitro level 33 there, which is pretty good. Any moves? No. Okay, what's next? A Tentacool. All right, we can take out a Tentacool. Seeking's dangerous, but a Tentacool's not as dangerous, even though it's level 37. 
Steel Eater. That's got to be Poison, so that's got to be Stab. Wow. Alright, Spark should take it out, though. It's physical defense. There's nothing to talk, send home about. Yeah, see you later, Tentacool. Okay, and his final Pokemon. Please don't be anything too dangerous. I'm not ready. A Seeking. That's a scream. Clap Clap's got to do it. I mean, I know Nitro is super effective, but healing and then getting hit with a Hydro Pump. Wow, it's level 38? Why? Why does that make any sense? That's ridiculous. I'm not going to go for Charm, just because if it knows Horn Drill, we're, we're, we're done. There's nothing we can do against it. All right, Hydro Pump's okay. This is not good. All right, we should be okay as long as it doesn't use Horn Drill. Or it doesn't crit. Stormfront. I don't know what that's going to do more than Hydro Pump. I doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, good work, guys. That was bad. All right, well, I'm going to get a Pokemon here, and then we're going to get out of here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, this doesn't make any sense. I'm, like, stuck, because the only ways we can go are left and right. And this way, obviously, the trainers are really, really strong. All right, let's put Denim and Slacks up front. Now, let's get ourselves an encounter for wherever we're at. I'll double check before I do it. Let's get ourselves an encounter for Route 78. My encounter for Route 78. I could get a Pokemon with the old rod, but I don't want to. It's going to be not a Slowpoke, because we had a Slowpoke this playthrough. Our Slowpoke Hamra was, like, one of our first deaths. So, the Slowpoke does not count. Give me something really cool. That would be awesome. Give me something that I'm, I see and I'm like, oh, yes, I want it so bad. Our encounter for Route 78 is going to be a Skaroopy. That's pretty neat, I guess. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but another female Pokemon to add to the PC. Great. Um, I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at it. Let's throw a couple at it. Hopefully we can catch it right away. Alright. Second Pokeball. We got ourselves a Skaroopy. So, I really have no clue what to name this thing. I'm going to name it, like, alright, this says it lives in arid lands. It buries itself in sand and lies in wait for unsuspecting prey. I'm going to go ahead and name this Skaroopy Turret. We have Turret the Skaroopy. So, I'm afraid to go battle any of these trainers. Like, pretty terrified. Um, it looks like it's a dead end. Like, only somewhere we can go with Surf. I suppose we can fight this other trainer, then. That seems fair. Let's do it. Fine. Oh, if you don't have a way to get across the water, your only option is to go back to Quarry and then go east. Yeah, so we can't go this way yet. So that trainer wasn't even supposed to fight us yet. That's the problem. But he did. He sniped us, and he could have been really overpowered for us. I'm glad it wasn't the case, especially since this is a wedlock. That would have been devastating. Lose a challenge because of a trainer that wasn't supposed to battle us yet. I'd have been pretty salty about that. And yeah, it would have counted, but... Wow, that's... That's messed up. Alright, let's go ahead and check out Turret, our new Pokemon, our Skorupi. We've got plenty of females in the PC now, which I guess is pretty cool. Let's see what Turret is all about. Bug, poison, like normal. Battle armor, sturdy body, met during the day. Alright. Interesting. Um... Battle armor is not better than Sniper, in my opinion, but, you know, that's what we got. I'm going to go ahead and buy some more Pokeballs, too, because we only have 10 left. I guess we'll buy some good Pokeballs, since we've got some money now. Let's buy, like, four Ultra Balls and, like, six Great Balls. That sounds good. All right, let's move along. My dog is snoring so loud, I swear. He's ridiculous. Give me a second. All right, whatever. I'll let him be. He's, he's just... You guys probably can't hear it that loud, but he's really distracting to me and my play style and commentary and everything. It's just kind of hard to focus when he's snoring that loudly, but nothing I can do about it, I guess. It's it's supposed to be sleep time, so, you know, we'll even be. Um, I've got an idea, actually. Seeing how it says the Firelight Caverns is to the right, maybe we're going to be dressed up like this until we get the red guy and take him into custody because maybe the red guy fire types would be in the firelight caverns that makes a lot of sense to me so i guess we'll roll with that i'm gonna go ahead and put leaf up front i think leaf and brayden can fight whoever this guy has so let's fight him huh so you're a palette patroller no we're not a palette patroller we're a really good guy uh bird keeper great bird keeper gerald has a pidgeotto eh i mean it's not a big deal because um, Raiden can Ice Punch it, and I mean Leaf can Ice Punch it. Let's do that. No Pidgeotto is going to take Leaf out in one hit. 
Yeah, we can almost take it out in one hit, though. Oh, yeah, Wing Attack's not gonna kill me. We're pretty bulky as a, as a Ludicolo. I'm not gonna do it again, though. We're just gonna take out this Pidgeotto and move along on our day with Braden switching in as soon as I can. Okay, what's next? A Fearow. Yeah, 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 I guessed it right. I mean, it's not hard to guess a flying type Pokemon in one of these games. Fearow is a pretty common one, and it's a really cool one as well. I'd like to use a Fearow, maybe. That'd be pretty cool. All right, Braden can take this thing on with an Ice Punch. A nice Ice Punch, and Braden's attack is probably higher than a Leaf. So who knows? Maybe we'll be able to take this thing out in one hit. Fearow's not the most bulky thing in the world. Yeah, we did. Nice work, Braden. All right. What's going to be his final Pokemon? Um, a Vibrava. Well, can, can, can you say dumpster truck? Yeah, Ice is not its friend. Goodbye, Vibrava. You will be sorely missed by nobody but Gerald. Poor Gerald. Gerald didn't stand a chance against my Ice Nice Punch duo. You know, it's whatever. Ooh, Slash. Um, do I have anything I can get rid of Slash for? Metal Claw, maybe. I don't know. I like the coverage. I don't want Slash. I hate this. Sun and Moon's so much better with it. No. Yes, yeah, stop learning. There we go. We're done. Okay, thanks for the fight, Gerald. Yeah, you lost to a Palette Patroller. Sure. Go with that. So we must have to be going through here as a Palette Patroller, because he was obviously programmed to say that. So, what is this? Pokemon... Alright, so it's just a Rock Smash Rock. I want that TM, though. That's really cool. We can't do that yet, though, obviously. Yeah, Leaf can stay up front. Why not? Let's fight this guy. Looks like a youngster. Are you looking for your buddy? Did he just run past you or something? Because if he did, I need to know that. He's not a youngster. He's a psychic. Psychic Murray has an execute. That's fine, right? Yeah, we can ice punch it. Everybody has ice punch, it seems. It's the ice punch game. Or the fire punch game, depending on who's out front. Yeah, ice punch isn't going to take it out, though. And it's going to charge. It's a laser. It's a solar beam. But it's not going to happen, execute. You just got roasted. Well, I guess you could say you just got burned. F -f -f freeze burned <laughs> it's good times all right yeah leaf you need to come out of there there's an executor it's not that big of a deal but look how little damage it was doing to the execute Braden needs to come on in here and ice punch this guy in the face the face says the face says get it because he's got three He's got one that looks like this, and one that looks like this, and oh my god, what was I thinking? It's an executor. Like, I think Ice Punch should take it out. I have to stay in. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Braden's weak to grass. Am I stupid? I must be. I'm out of it, guys. It's not good times. I don't know. I'm having, pr I'm having fun with the game. I want to record it and stuff, but, you know, some of us derp sometimes. It happens. Let's put Nitro up front. It's good to have a full team for once. You know, it's been... Ooh. This must be my Pokemon. No. 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 <laughs> I cry. I want a Natu. But it's gonna teleport. Getting the ball, Natu. Was that a critical capture? I suppose it was. Um. Neat. Well, we got a Natu. The little bird Pokemon is extremely, it is extremely good at climbing tree trunks and likes to eat the new sprouts on the trees. So, that's the memory that came back to me. I used to climb trees a lot with um, one of my friends when I was really a little kid. He's not my friend anymore, but his name was Dakota. So, we have Dakota the Natu, which let's just double check. This is a new area. Yeah, it's Route 85. So that was our encounter. I had no idea you could find Pokemon in here. I really hope there's not something amazingly epic. I know we ran into a Natu earlier on in the game, but it teleported away and made me sad. So here's a Vulpix. There's probably fire types around here, seeing as how the Firelight Caverns is coming up. Now we never got an encounter there, because that area that we were put in wouldn't... Ooh. I'm worried. Do we get Rock Smash here or something? Hey, just taking a smoke break. Excuse me? Smoking is awful for you kids. Don't ever do it. Ever. I'm telling you, please don't ever start smoking. It's so messed up. Like, so many of my friends started doing it, and it just makes me so sick. Like, it's disgusting. I am... I could go on a big rant. I am heavily, heavily against smoking, drugs, drinking, anything like that. It's sick. It makes me really mad. So, like, that's just... Life lessons with Chroma. I'm heavily against it. Don't do it, kids. 
I'll need that suit back. Yeah. The guard in front of the quarries gym will now let you through now. Please also take this gift. And we get HMO5 Rock Smash, maybe? Or is that Surf? Rock Smash. Okay. I wasn't sure if it changed in this game. Great. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm sad it's an HM still, but what can you do? Maybe it's buffed in this game. We'll have to check. Can anybody learn it? Obviously, people can learn it. Let's give it to Brayden and, pay, and play some Metal Claw. Just because it seems like the best Pokemon to get rid of an attack with. So let's get rid of Metal Claw for it. I know I said I like the coverage, but I still like the coverage with Rock Smash. And the move might have been buffed. So let's go ahead and check out Brayden and see. Eh, 40. I mean, it's not any good, but... We can now go get some stuff, which is pretty cool. Maybe we can get a Pokemon for this town. Uh, yeah. My encounter for this town could be a Pokemon. Oh, we can't use it yet. Yeah, we need the badge. Okay. Well, I guess we can do the gym this episode, then. I'm not too sure what level I'm going to have to be, so I'm going to go ahead and ask my friend what the level limit for this gym would be, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So he said it's... The average is 33, so... You know, 33, 36, around there. So I'm not going to go and train. I should be okay with what I've got. I obviously don't know the type. I'm going to guess the type is fighting, based on the fact that we got Rock Smash. Uh, he asked me if I knew the type and then said hint, and then I closed Discord because I don't want to know at all. So hopefully we do okay here. I should be okay. The reason I'm coming back into Milo's Catacombs is because there was an area over here that I never went to, and it seems that you can't do anything with it anyways because you need strength. So we didn't miss out on anything, which is pretty good. So, uh, since we're healed, it's time to go inside what I presume to be the fifth gym of the game. So let's go inside. And let's talk to this guy. Andre is the kind of gym leader who lets his fists do the talking. He can be very hostile, so do be careful when talking to him. Okay. Rock smash. So, that's so weird. How are we sp Oh, that's our way out. Okay, I get it. So yeah, this is obviously a fighting type gym. It's pretty clear. So, who would we fight these guys with? Denim and Slacks, probably. That makes the most sense because of Denim's, you know, super effectiveness. So, let's fight this first guy and see what he's got. It takes years of intense training before you even get considered to be one of Andre's lowly despicable disciples. Disciples. I don't know how to math or word. Black Belt Dunn has a machoke. So, I guess you could say, guess you could say, guess you could say, he, 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 he's done. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What? N nerd. Get get double slapped on. Hopefully we get like moon blast or something. Double slap's not the ideal. <laughs> not the ideal. Fairy type attack, I would say. But I mean it'll work for now. Denim's our boy. He's been here for the longest. He's our team leader for sure, so hopefully he does well here. Um, Dizzy Punch is useless. Yeah, unless it's a Fairy Dev attack and I just missed out. But I doubt it. Yeah, here's a Hitmonlee. Whoa. Um, I'm not worried about Hitmonlee, but I am worried about a Hitmonchan. Because they could very well have, um, Thunder Punch. Which could well, could very well kill me. So we need to be very careful here. Hopefully Double Slap takes this thing out. Yeah, nice work, Denim. Okay, so I'm worried about Hitmonchan. Bad. Okay, that's bad. Um, Thunder Punch is really bad, but I can't fight him with Slacks, obviously, so we've got to take one. A horror hopefully, we'll just take it out right here. We need to hit three times, Denim. Come on, buddy. There we go. Nice work, buddy. Awesome. Okay. Now, I don't know what the other trainers are going to have. This is probably one of the hardest trainers in the gym, so I'm going to fight the next guy with Leaf and Brayden, just so Denim doesn't get overleveled. I should be fine, though. Let's go ahead and do it with, yeah, these two. And then I'll do one with Nitro. I think that sounds fair. Up at 4 a.m., 16 hours of training with only three 10-minute breaks, day after day. Thus is the life of a warrior. Well, I hope you're not like the last guy, because I guess you could say he was done. And you're Everett. You're, you're Everett. Chroma bad. Yay. All right, so this is not good. Uh, obviously, we don't want to fight a Hariyama. But maybe it'll whirlwind me. I have nightmares of whirlwinding Hariyama. But that would be the best thing that they could do for me right now. Because Leaf is not going to do very well against this guy. I'm using Fire Punch just so I can hopefully burn him. Um, other than that, yeah. Oh my god, Dynamic Punch. That kills Leaf. But I've got to stay in. Because it would probably kill Brayden too. So I need to keep using Razor Leaf. 
Hopefully we can get crits. Seismic Toss is excellent because Seismic Toss ain't, can't kill me, even though it's going to do quite a bit of damage. So I am going to go for it because I think Razor Leaf would take it out. That's my best bet. Yeah, okay, great. What's his other Pokemon? Great. Two more, dang. I'm a choke. I can fight that with Brayden. All right, you did really good work, Leaf. Come on out. All right, so this gym is really scary. I feel bad I closed Discord on him because it's kind of obvious that it's a fighting type gym, and I don't think he was going to tell me anyways. I just get kind of worried about that. I don't want any spoilers. I'd like to get through the game and experience it and find things out on my own. That's kind of the challenging factor about it and the fun part. That's why this is a blind playthrough, but whatever. Double Kick's not going to do very much to Brayden, so we should be able to take out this Machoke. And, oh, I was going to Aqua Jet, but I decided not to, and it used Bullet Punch. But it's not, it's, come on, it's Bullet Punch on a Water type. It's not going to do very much. All right, what is his final Pokemon? I'm guessing it's going to be something pretty good. Breloom. Yeah. All right, so I'll have to heal Leaf, but Leaf should be able to do it with Fire Punch. Wow, this gym is really good. Obviously, it's a fighting type gym. It's very clear. So I am going to heal. I'm going to use a Soda Pop. And I need to go buy some more healing items, probably. But I'm going to use a Soda Pop and a Leaf. Spring Buds. Oh, my lord. Burn it, because this could be the end of Leaf right here. What? What kind of attack is that? Oh, my god, Leaf. I don't think I have anything to fully heal him. A Hyper Potion. All right, we need to use this Hyper Potion now. Leaf could be done here quick. Karate Chop. Good. Bad. Crit. Dang it. Ice Punch. Freeze it. Leaf. You gotta freeze it. No. Leaf. Alright, a crit can't kill me. Alright, we're good. Let me use another healing item. Hopefully we have something that will fully heal me here. Something. Anything. What is a Soda Pop heal? 60. It's not gonna be enough and it has Mach Punch. Yeah, I have to do it. I ought to try. Spring Buds. It probably has Mach Punch, but I gotta go for it. It didn't. We've done it. Nice word, Leaf. Holy crap, that could have gone so bad. I feel bad that I named her Leaf. Um, it, it, she's a girl, and that's clearly a boy's name. But, you know, maybe there's girls out there named Leaf. Leaf, uh. That's a synthesis. I, didn't I say not learning synthesis like three times with you? I don't want it. Whatever. There are more trainers. I don't want to leave these guys up front in case I get ambushed. Let's do this one with Nitro. That's what I said I'd do. And then I'll put Denim up front and we can go through it with Denim. Um, that's cool. That might be the next way to go. All right, here we go. I may be the only, the only second command here, but it doesn't matter. You're not going any further. So this must be the final trainer, which would be good. And then we have the gym leaders. We have Lennox here with a Haryana. Okay. You know, I think Nitro might die here, honestly. This is not good. I don't know why I wanted to do this with Nitro. Like, I don't know. I wanted to fight with everybody. And I, they're the same level. I don't really see why they couldn't. <gasps> Dang, Dynamic Punch is so scary. One Dynamic Punch, it's going to kill anybody except for Denim. So, hope. yeah, we parallel. Guts, 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 guts. Okay, it didn't use Dynamic Punch. Okay, it doesn't have guts. It would have done way more than that if it had guts. Goodbye, Ariyama. Please have a water fighting type this time, like a polyrath. That would be excellent for Nitro here. Um, trying to learn Night Slash. Whoa, that's so good. Yeah, let's get Night Slash instead of Bite. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Wow. I wish you were a dark type, but you'd probably be dead if you were a dark type. Hit him on top. Yeah, we have to stay in. Clap Claps is her partner, and that would not be good times for Clap Claps, so... Let's do this with the spark. Can't ice slash it. It won't be very effective. Quick attack's not a problem. Hopefully it'll keep using quick attack. That's nothing. I'm not worried about quick attack whatsoever. Yeah. I wish I had quick attack because I'd take it out right here on its 1 HP. Or I just crit and it's dead anyways. Nice work, Nitro. Alright, please be a polyrath. I'm guessing. Machoke. Okay, whatever. Machoke's fine. Like, it's it's a machoke. It's a majoke. It's a majoke joke. Get it? Because it's because it's worthless. Why am I speaking? It's gonna dynamic punch and kill Nitro, isn't it? Or double kick. Eh, yeah, double kick's fine. I mean, it can probably kill me with, like, Karate Chop or something, so I'm going... I am going to heal, and I'm gonna use a Soda Pop on Nitro. Just in case it has something other than double kick. And it went for Bullet Punch, of all things, which is kind of funny. It wouldn't have killed me. Bullet Punch isn't very effective. When, when is... 
When is steel not very effective against electric? Has it always been like that? One of those types, I tell ya. Whatever. Double kick's not gonna kill me, and we can finish this guy off with spark. And it's gonna bullet punch me just to waste my time. That's fine. So I believe that's the last trainer. We can't go to that little cave section to the top left until we beat the gym, obviously. So I'd say it's time to put Denim up front, go heal, and then take on the fifth gym of the game already. We're making some good progress on this game. I'm liking it. Alright, let's go ahead and put Denim up front and head back to the Pokemon Center. I'm pretty pretty certain that was the last trainer. And if not, we can fight him when we come back. So I'm going to heal, go buy some items other than Soda Pop, and I'll be back. Alright guys, went ahead and healed up, bought some Hyper Potions, sold that Gold Dust, and I even bought a couple Repels for the future. So with that being said, it is time to take on the 5th Gym Leader of the game. Already, man, this game's been going pretty quick. So here's Denim and Slax up front. If Denim dies, Slax dies as well, which is going to be really unfortunate, because Denim and Slax are our leaders, and Denim has been here since the very beginning almost, so hopefully it'll all go okay. You know, we have the type advantage. Which isn't always, you know, everything. But hopefully it goes well for us. So with that being said, it's time to face off against the fifth gym leader of the game. Let's talk to him. Hey, how'd you get this far? My followers need to train more. I'm Andre. This cave right here is our home. My Pokemon and I carved it using nothing but our bare hands. These construction workers are so pathetic, relying on technology to achieve tasks rather than simply making their body an indestructible war machine. Think I'm crazy? Just watch. Time for the fifth gym leader of the Pokemon Prism Wedlock Challenge versus Andre, the fighting type gym leader of the Naljo region. Let's do this. First up is going to be Machoke. That's fine with me. Mach Machoke is a fighting type, level 31. Let's go Denim. All right. So, we need to just hit it as hard as we can. We need a double slap. We double slap a once, twice, three times the charm. Machoke is out of here. Nice work, Denim. Okay, what's next? Denim grew level 35. Are we going to get play rough, potentially? Not quite. All right, next up is going to be Lucario. No, I had no clue. Oh, that sucks. What do I do against Lucario? I mean, I could let Slacks do it. I'm going to see how Denim fares first. All right, Lucario. Steel fighting type, level 34. All right, I'm going to go for double slap. It's not going to be resisted. It'll be neutral damage. Metal Claw's not going to be much either. It's going to be neutral. So we're going to hit each other with neutral attacks and see how it goes. And it looks like double slap hit three times there, which wasn't enough to take it down to half. So all it's going to take is three more double slaps, and we will have this Lucario down. D double slap. One, two, three. Lucario's out of here. Nice work, Denim. Awesome. Okay, who is going to be next? Glade? Dang. Oh my god, Leaf Blade. I hope not. Alright, Glade is a Psychic Fighting type, level 32. We gotta go for it. X Scissors, fine. Nice work. Alright, let's do it. Double slap. Once. Twice. Three times the charm. See you later, Glade. Alright, and his final Pokemon, his Ace is going to be Machamp. That makes sense. All right, Machamp, fighting type, level 36. All right, I'm gonna go for a healing item now. I'm gonna go for healing item number one of the fight. I'm gonna use a Soda Pop for now because it should do full health. No, it won't do full health. I can't math, it will. It won't, whatever, that's fine. It's gonna go for Bulk Up. Bulk Up is bad, he could sweep me right here. All right, let's go for Double Slap. Once, twice, three times, four times. Not quite five. That's okay. It's going to go for bulk up again, which is frightening. If it knows Thunder Punch or something, I'm going to be in hot water. But it's too late for him. Because double slap once and twice, Machamp is down. And with that being said, Denim for level 36. Awesome work, Denim. And with that being said, Andre was defeated. No. You may be strong now, but what will happen when society can no longer produce things to fill your team item pack? I'll give you a badge for now, but when the world ends, don't come crying to me. And with that, we get the muscle badge from Andre. That's pretty sweet. And he's going to go ahead and give us TM01, which is probably still Focus Punch. Dynamic Punch. Okay, TM01's not Focus Punch. What am I talking about? You know what I mean. Whatever. Yeah, Dynamic Punch sucks. Um, 
Yay. And now we can break boulders. So do we get a Pokemon here or something? That'd be kind of neat. All right, let's have Brayden smash that rock. And I want to see what this cave is back here while we're in here. Maybe there's something pretty neat back here, like an item or something. Who knows? Oh, it brings me to the catacombs. Oh, it's this item. Okay, it's going to be a calcium. Well, that's neat. Awesome. Hopefully we don't run into a Pokemon. That'd just be annoying. Let's get out of here. And now that we're back in Felicia Town, I think we can get a again. I think we can get a Pokemon here by smashing rocks. That would make sense. Like something like a Shuckle or something, maybe. Um, we can't get that item until we strength. But let's try this. Like there's got to be a Pokemon here. So just give me a second. I'm gonna smash these rocks for a while. And see if I can come across the Pokemon. There's got to be one. I mean, it makes sense. All right, guys. I smashed them a couple times. Doesn't seem to be anything in those rocks. But if there is, you guys can let me know in the comments, and I might come back later on. So I want to go this way, because there was a rock that you could smash over here on Route 78, and it's a TM, so I want to grab it. And then there's one to the east that's also a TM, so we can grab both of those. This is going to be TM 28 Dig. Dig could come in handy a lot. Um, I'm not too sure who could learn it or who I would want to teach it to, but it's definitely there for the future. So let's check out Dig really quick and see if anybody wants to learn it. Um, Slacks, Denim... Clap, clap, can, Braden can. I'm not going to bother with any of them. They don't need dig. That's fine for now. And now we can go back to the east of town. And there should be that other rock. Oh, maybe we can smash this one. I never smashed this one. So let's try that. Doesn't seem to be the case, I bet. Yeah, I doubt it. All right, that's fine. Let's go to the east here. And then we can smash that rock and see what that other TM is. I'm pretty excited to see what it is because, you know, it might be something really good for the future here. Let's go all the way over here. Smash this flaming rock. Maybe there's a Pokemon in it. Who knows? Like a Slugma. That would make sense. Nope. And TM4 Rollout. So Rollout isn't going to be useful, but, you know, it's there. You know, it's pretty cool, I suppose. So, now we can go this way. So this seems to be the next way to go. And it's the entrance to Route 85. Should we get a Pokemon here? I say we do. Before we end off the episode, let's get a Pokemon. The Firelight Caverns. Sure. Let's get a Pokemon. All right, my encounter for the Firelight Caverns is going to be, hopefully, something. Hopefully, it's not like it was earlier on in the game where I couldn't get anything. Maybe it's down a floor. That would make sense. Let's check. Is there anything here? We can jump across that, which is pretty neat. Oh, man, I'm excited to explore this cave. This is going to be really cool. But it doesn't seem like there's any Pokemon in here. Why is that? That's so strange. Like, it was like this earlier on in the game, too. Well, that's okay. Oh, yeah, there is something. Okay. A Torkoal. Cool. That's a really cool Pokemon. All right. Our encounter is going to be a level 28 female Torkoal. I'm going to go ahead and Ice Punch it, because I know that won't knock it out. And maybe we'll burn it. We'll freeze it. Crit. Mm, laughing Gas. What? That's strange. It's a poison type attack, and it lowers my attack and special attack. Cool. All right, let's throw a great ball at this Torkoal. What could I nickname him or her? That's tough. Um, I think I'm going to let Discord name this one. But I'm going to go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at it. Um, Ember, that's fine. I don't want to leave Denim out too much, because if it's using poison type attacks, it could be pretty bad. But I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball now. Torkoal's catch rate's not the greatest thing in the world. But hopefully we'll catch it. All right, guys. You're going to have some questions, I'm sure. So, basically, the, uh, the game looks a lot different, probably, color-wise. And the Torkoal's frozen, and a lot of stuff has changed. Basically, I almost quit the series, because I've been having problems with crashes, and it's not been going very well. Well, you can all thank 123Turtwig, because he helped me fix it and i would have quit the series i've been going through so much troubles and i think i patched the save as you guys saw as we caught the torkoal my game crashed and it's been such a headache to fix it but i changed emulators i patched my game i fixed a whole bunch of stuff and i got back to the firelight caverns where we were at and i hunted down a torkoal i thought hey we got it on our first try. Must be pretty common, right? 
it was not common at all. It is like the rarest Pokemon of all time. It took me an hour to find another Torkoal. And luckily it was still female, so we didn't have to have a different gender than the one we found to begin with. It's the same thing. It's level 28, it's female. Thank you so much, game, for just giving it to me after all that time. So the game's going to look different from now on. Things are going to be a little bit different, but other than that, it's the same game, same playthrough. Nothing has changed. I had to get all that out of the way. It's been a headache, but hopefully things will be fixed now. So, with that being said, we caught ourselves a Torkoal, the coal Pokemon. You find abandoned coal mines full of them. They always dig tirelessly in search of coal. Well, this wasn't a coal mine, apparently, because it was really hard to find. But luckily, I found one. All's well ends well. Hopefully, there won't be any more problems with crashes. This is what I was talking about a couple episodes ago with the shiny ball from the Pachisi board. I got that and it crashed my game and I had a whole bunch of problems with that. But maybe now that I switched emulators and patched the game, maybe we can go get that shiny ball now. I think that would be really cool. So with that being said, I'm going to stop the rambling. I'm going to go ahead and get a name for this Torkoal in my Discord chat. And I will be right back. Okay, guys. I got a nickname for this thing. I came up with a really, really cool name and fitting name for a Torkoal. And that name, I'm not going to do my normal editing for. I was going to name this Torkoal Skull. Like Skull and Cole. And I thought it was kind of neat. Because nobody was suggesting a name. But then... Your boy, 123 Turtwig, comes in with a suggestion, and it is so fitting for what I just went through. We've got a name for this Torkoal, and this Torkoal's name is Crash. We have Crash the Torkoal. Kill me. That was so miserable. Oh my god. Yeah, we've done it. So I was going to end the episode after that, but after all that stress, I mean, we've got to go see Crash, right? It only makes sense. Let's go check her out. All right, in the Pokemon Center. Let's look at our Crash Bandicoot. I'm not gonna say that. All right, here's Crash and Dakota and Turret we can check out as well. So uh, we already checked out Turret from what I remember. Let's check out Dakota. Psychic flying type, Aerial Ace, pretty good attacks, yeah. Early bird, I don't remember what its other ability is. And we have Crash, the Torkoal. Fire and gas type, whoa, that's pretty cool. Laughing Gas Lava Pool, Smoke Screen and Ember, uh, White Smoke, alright, pretty cool, I'm really excited for Crash, we have a big PC full of female Pokemon, and we do have a male, which is pretty cool, in Dakota, so, with that being said, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, you guys didn't have to go through too much, but, I did, but I fixed it, it should be okay, from now on out, and I might even go back to the Pachisi board and get that shiny ball, which would be pretty cool, so, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode as hectic as it was for me, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Wedlocks like Pokemon Prism, feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.